have a super quick tutorial for you today on how to paint a Dollar Tree pot for fall. If you want some ideas on home decor for less money, and if you love creative painting ideas from Dollar Tree, then definitely keep watching. If you're new to Artsy Cupcake, welcome. I'm Maria, and I'm a full-time graphic designer, so being creative is just part of my everyday life. When I'm not doing my full time, I hop onto YouTube every week and I like to bring you all kinds of inspiration so that you can make life as creative as it can be. I share fashion lookbooks, home DIYs, and recipe videos with some cupcakes in there, of course. So make sure to subscribe because it really helps my channel out and then you won't miss out on any fun and creative videos. Dollar Tree has great decor and sometimes you just have to envision a decor item in a different way and then it has a chance to work in your home. With just a little bit of paint and not even much effort, I've transformed a little fall themed pot into something that would work well in my home year round. This video is part of a collab with Heidi San Bull and Crystal Hansen's channels, and they have awesome channels, so make sure to check them out. There will also be a playlist with a bunch of other painting ideas for your home, so I will make sure to link their channels and that playlist in the description box below. This is going to be so fast and easy, but don't you just love projects that are like that? And don't you just love barely spending any money to get something beautiful and elegant to accent your home? So I'm always looking for items that are at the Dollar Tree and that I can dress up and make them fit my home in my own style. So there were a lot of great fall items at Dollar Tree. I saw this little pot and they had some other designs too and it's really just cute as it is but I was going to style this pot with a very brightly colored floral arrangement so for that reason I needed it to be neutral and elegant so that it wouldn't clash with the bright colors on the flowers. First I got my drop cloth down to protect my dining table. I always use just a simple garbage bag for this task and there always seems to be a little static electricity, so the bag tends to stay down without any tape. Then I gathered all my supplies and got right to work. I wanted to keep the hand-painted look, so I used a foam brush with the white acrylic paint instead of using spray paint, and that helped to keep the texture on the pot. I painted the whole thing and then even a little bit into the top edge of the pot just in case I had any of that showing after I placed my floral arrangement in there. At least you wouldn't be able to see the brown on the inside or any rough edges where it was painted. It dried really quickly and then I moved on to the gold sunflower. I have this mousse type paint that dries really fast for those of us that are impatient and <laughs> just want to get that DIY project done. 
I used another sponge brush to just dab this onto the three-dimensional flower. Now this pot has a nice neutral color palette to go with any other decor that I want and it will not clash at all. It still has that hand painted look and look how beautiful it is with this brightly colored fall floral arrangement that I did. If you wanna see how I put that arrangement together, I did do a video on that along with how I styled it on my fireplace for fall. I will link those videos in the description box below. This was such a fun little painting project with that Dollar Tree find, and I really loved sharing this little painting project and this little transformation I did with you. And I'm really active in the comment section, so make sure to leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a very happy day.